Hello my friends, I'm Rich Larson and I'm the IRC Tire Guy. Today we're starting down a new road for the IRC Moto YouTube channel. Because of my recent partnership with the local SLC and Denver company, the Moto Station, we've had new opportunities open up with testing different machines, comparing performance parts, and really going in depth on the pros and cons of different scenarios. Which leads me to the most exciting part of today's new episode, the use and availability of the Moto Station's dyno. If you don't know what a dyno is, it's a great tool for giving you an accurate percentage difference in the power characteristics of your machine. Dynos are meant to be a tool for fine tuning and understanding the output of torque and power as well as accurately comparing engine characteristics of bikes, parts, and different scenarios. The reason I'm explaining this is when tuning with a dyno, there are so many external circumstances that can affect the exact number output of the machine. So you may read or hear somewhere that a certain bike puts out a certain number in power. I'm sure that that number is probably accurate, but we aren't comparing my dyno readings to other companies or publications dyno readings. We are only showing accurate differences in percentage of power and torque when comparing parts and machines that we can personally test. Everything we test is done exactly the same in a controlled scenario. So keep that in mind for this and future dyno tests you'll see on this channel. And let us know in the comments some different dyno tests you'd like to see us break down in the future. You'll be seeing the use of this dyno a lot more, so stay tuned. With that being said, the first thing we want to break down is for anyone who has ever dented a two-stroke pipe. And if you ride on the single track trail or in hard and situations, this is most likely a common problem for you. I'm sure you know as well as I do, a dented pipe can be a nuisance especially in the looks department. But how much of an effect does a dented pipe have on the power of your bike? Well, now we can accurately show the power difference between a dented pipe and a brand new one by using the Moto Station's dyno. Now, of course, every dent is different. Really, the goal today was to show how big of a difference multiple dents and bends in a pipe make. Now, the dented pipe we tested has been on my bike taking the hard enduro abuse for the last 50 hours. This is probably what your pipe looks like as you put off fixing or replacing it. And let me first explain the differences that I felt in the power of the machine as we progressively abuse the pipe more and more. So to me, a few dents in the actual expansion cone of the pipe really doesn't affect the power or really the way the bike runs. The dents you see on the expansion cone were actually done earlier in my testing of the bike. Those are usually the ones that the average guy is going to see first. They usually stem from a simple tip over and an unfortunately placed rock. Again, the power really doesn't feel noticeably different with these type of dents. It seems the real difference comes from the flattening that happens as you progressively abuse the pipe more and more. This bending, denting, and flattening tend to make the biggest difference in the power when they happen in that first 180 degree bend at the head of your pipe. As soon as these dents and bends begin to form here, the bike starts to run a little different. You'll start to hear the sound get more flat. Each piston revolution almost sounds like a tin roof or pingy. This is also where you feel the reduction in torque and top in rev out. So let's find out what the actual numbers are. Simply done, we first tested the bike with a stock dented pipe. Then we installed a brand new stock pipe and repeated the test. The results were shocking to say the least. 
On our dyno, the dented stock pipe produced 37.83 horsepower. The brand new, never used stock pipe produced 41.18 horsepower. Again, there are a lot of variables that give us these numbers. You shouldn't really care about the exact numbers. What we care about is the actual percentage increase. And that's where we see the surprise. This is a whopping 6.18% increase in sheer horsepower. That's a noticeable difference. We also had a similar increase in torque. The dented pipe producing a max torque of 23.27 and a new pipe producing 24.33. That is a 4.5% increase in torque, another noticeable difference. When you install a new pipe, you can absolutely feel the difference in power and power delivery. The bike revs out further, has a more pronounced torque, and is completely rid of that pingy tin-like sound, which truthfully has always annoyed me about denting that first 180 degree bend of the head of your pipe. As soon as that happens, that's when the problems arise. And the amazing point is, it's a noticeable difference in power. We've got a lot more dyno testing coming up, including the difference between stock and the new two-stroke performance ECU reflash and new head available from South Bay Moto Performance in San Jose, California. They did my ECU and I'm very excited to show you guys my full review and dyno results of the new product. Let us know what you guys want to see being dyno tested and we'll make it happen. I hope you guys are enjoying the content. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe as well as follow us on Instagram at IRCMoto and my personal Instagram page at RichLarson511. And until next time, keep shredding.